Good evening, everyone. Tonight we have a box of 1991 Donruss slash Leaf Studio. A unique set of cards from back in the day. The first of its kind where they pretty much focused on personal uh, type pictures as well as, you know, a lot of facts in the back that were on, you know, personal level versus, you know, being normally just for statistics. Um, interesting set. You know, definitely a lot of hype back in the day. Something different, you know, to open up. Uh... Not a whole lot in there really nowadays. I mean, other than the Bagwell rookie card, I mean, back in the day you had some other hot prospects, you know, Van Poppel, Phil Plantier, etc. But nowadays it's pretty much Bagwell or bust. So let's take a look at the Beckett. And we shall see here we have the December 1991 issue with Cecil Fielder in the cover and his 91 Flair Ultra card there. And this was the first month that Beckett actually listed studio in there. You'll see Terry Pendleton there and the set booking it initially at $36. And let's see here. We got Phil Plantier, four bucks. Move on, two dollars. West Chamberlain rookie card, $225. Hot West Chamberlain card. Bagwell booking at six. You got Dave Justice at four dollars. Steve Avery, two bucks. I want my two dollars. Nolan Ryan, two fifty. Juan Gonzalez, four dollars. Griffey Jr., four bucks. Van Poppel rookie card, a hot one, $4. Ricky Henderson, a buck. Canseco, of course, $1.25. Should have been about triple that. Scott Erickson, another hot name from the past, $3.50. Brian McRae, rookie card, $2. Travis Fryman, 2 bucks. Frank Thomas, $8. Definitely a hot one then. And Will Clark at a dollar. So, you know, that's pretty much it. Now, the new Beckett doesn't even list studio in there anymore. For whatever reason, they probably had a falling out or just don't consider it, you know, a mainstream set. So they don't even list it. But basically, the only thing worth anything besides your normal stars and Hall of Famers is the Bagwell rookie card. So that's pretty much what we're looking at. Bagwell or bust when it comes to rookies. So just give me a second here. I'll go ahead and open this box up and get us ready to start ripping into these packs. All right, let's get started here. See what we can find. Hope you guys are all doing well tonight. I'm hoping I can get into these cars without having too much trouble. Oh, look, we got a puzzle piece. We got Ray Langford, Ken Caminiti, Ken Griffey Sr., Cecil Fielder, Scott Champarino, George Brett, Dwight Evans, Tim McIntosh, nice Wade Boggs there, and Bill Landrum trying to look all serious. I dropped a puzzle piece there. Like I said, there's not a whole lot of value in this set. You know, still, to me it's fun at least because it takes me back to being a kid. You know, buying these cards. The local card shop. Nice move on there. Definitely interesting cards there. Steve Lake with, what, a parrot on his shoulder? John Olerud. Lee Smith. Nice Ryan Sandberg there. Oh, almost lost, and that was Nolan Ryan. Good thing didn't lose that one. One of the actual better cards in the set. Put him over there. All right, we'll keep this moving here. If I can get these packs open. Of course, it's always that one corner. And of course, I always open them upside down. You got George Bell, Tim Leary, Charlie Huff, looking nice and young. Ricky Henderson, looking a little smug there. Ray Langford again, Ken Caminiti again, Ken Griffey Sr. again, and Cecil Beeler again. All right, let's continue this train along here. We got Black and Decker. Let's see, Bud Black and Steve Decker. Giants were hoping the battery would power them into contention. Yeah, how'd that work out? Jack McDowell, Brian Harper, Dave Stewart, BJ Suroff, Greg Swindell, Scott Sanderson. Like I said, a lot of people didn't like this set. You know, obviously being a little partial to it because you know, it brings you back to being a kid. 
but you know some people judge based on the value you get out of it so there's that parrot card again lee smith ryan sandberg another nolan ryan put that with the other one here we got kurt schilling and john smiley not smiling and jeff treadway A lot of people may say this is just a waste of a video. You know, I don't think so. This is all about taking you back to your childhood. And look right there on top. Jeff Bagwell, rookie card. Looking all dapper. Jeff was born in Killingworth, Connecticut. Hobbies and interests. Fishing and golf. Enjoys top 40 and contemporary music. Likes to watch Cheers and The Cosby Show. Is a Chicago Bulls fan. Hero, Carly Stremski. You got Carlton Fisk. Oh, and there is the greatest player of all time, Jose Canseco, who gets a seat up front. Sandy Alomar Jr., Scott Gereltz, Delino DeShields, Ken Daly, Dwight Gooden, before he was cracked out, Ron Gant, and Scott Erickson, which would have been a hot pull back then. But now he's pretty much a common. Which is okay, Scott. We don't judge. All right. Brett Saberhagen with his five head. Cal Ripken Jr. That's a nice one. A nice cow. We'll put him over here. He's not in the front row, but you know he's in the conversation at least. Sandberg, Dave Winfield, Robin Yell, Bobby Witt looking a little goofy. And Steve Finley looking goofy as well. Mike LaBallier and Ed Whitson. Some of these guys are smiling because they're just happy to be included in the set. I know it was pretty much on the smaller side. There's a 300 something cards, I think. So not everyone got in the set. So Sam Horn, yeah, he should have been one of those. Willie Randolph, Roger Clemens. It's a nice one. Bobby Bonilla signed the greatest contract ever. Rob Dibble looking kind of evil. Pedro Guerrero, another Bagwell rookie. I will gladly take as many of those as possible because that is pretty much the only card worth anything in this set. Just as I will take plenty of Consecos. I know a lot of you are like, all right, you pulled the card, the video should be over. Do we have to continue? Well, of course. You are along for the ride with me. So I'd appreciate it if you guys subscribe, hit the like button, notification icon, all that good stuff. Mo Martinez. Moises Alou, Kent Tom Candiotti, looking like a uh, guy from Major League, I forget his name, Berenger, Tom Berenger, Darren Dalton. Jake Taylor, that was a character that Tom Berenger played. I almost bought those cards on eBay, the, the Major League. Insert Scott Erickson, Bly Levin, Ramon Martinez again. Nice Barry Bonds, although I can't stand them. We'll put him up front because he's popular. Eric Davis, Gilkey, and Eric Anthony. Like I said, I still like this set. You know, it may not be worth a whole lot. It was different, you know, nice quality cards. And mostly, for the most part, Don Mattingly. Looking pretty young in that one. You got Dale Murphy, should be in the Hall of Fame. Mookie Wilson, Doug Jones, Kevin Moss. One year he was actually relevant there, 91. And then he faded into obscurity not too long after that. The next Babe Ruth turned into the next nothing. Kelly Gruber, we got Tom Glavin. Lance Dixon, Griffey Jr. You know what, Barry Bonds? You can go in the back. We'll put the kid up front. Rob Deere and Kevin Belcher trying to look very intellectual. I flipped the wrong way. Daryl Kyle, Fred McGriff, 
Bobby Ojeda, William McGee, Mike Fitzgerald, Lloyd Mosby. Looks like he's posing for his senior pick in high school. Mookie Wilson, Frank Viola, Treadway, and Terry Mulholland. And we got Chris Hoyles. Wes Chamberlain, that was that hot rookie card from back in the day. Andre Dawson. Looking like he's got some moles or something on his forehead. Maybe we'll just call it some printing imperfections. Steve Bedrosian with the hair helmet. Looks like it's solid. Jim Abbott. Jesse Barfield. Looks like they tickled him before the shot. Tony Gwynn, that's a nice one. Eddie Murray. It's probably the only time he's ever smiled in his life. Rarely ever see him looking anything but serious. At least during his playing days. The Fred McGriff, Ojeda, William McGee, Fitzgerald, Lloyd Mosby, Mookie Wilson, same collation, of course. In every pack, it looks like. Like I said, I wouldn't mind if every pack had, you know, Bagwell and Canseco in it. I'll, I'll take that. You know, or Griffey Jr. in every pack. I'll take repeats of the halfway decent cars. There's, there's that parrot again. Or McCall or whatever it is. I'm sure somebody can correct me. Another Ryan Sandberg, excuse me, Sandberg, Winfield, Schilling. Like I said, same collation, every pack. Or at least whenever you come across them, it's going to be the same. There's a nice one, Frank Thomas. You know what, Nolan Ryan? I'll put you in the back. Oh, what am I doing with him? Oh, what did I do? Hit it? Excuse me on that one. Oh, look at the pack fall out in the back. Oh, man. That's pretty bad. Got to make room for Frank Thomas here. We got Kirby Puckett. Nice Mark McGuire. Mark Langston. Franklin Stubbs. Palmero. What is nice hair. And Mark Lewis. We got Hensley Mullins and John Smoltz. Hensley Mullins from back in the day. Went from hot prospect to minor league manager now. Or he's a major league coach now, I believe. Buying for you know, eventually to get himself a job as a manager. Scott Garrell, still line up the shields again. Dwight Gooden, Ron Gant, Erickson, Bly Levin, Steve Farr, and Barry Bonds. Caminiti, Griffey Sr., Cecil Fielder, George Brett, Dwight Evans, nice Wade Boggs. I didn't realize I flipped the pack out of the box. Why don't one of you guys say something? Vince Coleman, Sid Bream. George Bell, Tim Leary, Charlie Huff, Ricky Henderson again, and Ray Langford. Of course, these packs are giving me a hard time. Must be something good in this one, then. Gilkey, Eric Anthony. Bill Gullickson, Juan Gonzalez, first time we've seen him tonight. Warren Cromarty, Chris Hoyles, and that West Chamberlain again. Hot rookie card back in 91. And today, whoops, that was nice. Sorry about that, guys. Kurt Schilling, John Smiley, 
Tim Mollick, Ed Whitson, Wally Joyner. Looking really old in that fit. Gary Sheffield, Jeff Kunkel, blowing a big old bubble. And Don Mattingly again. Appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. Hopefully I'll stop hitting the camera and knocking packs around everywhere. Just this industrial strength glue they used back in the day. Another John, not smiley. Another Don Mattingly looking all dejected. Someone just stole his bike and he's going to walk home. And Dale Murphy. And these packs are just a joy to open. Well, looks like the same pack again. Wallach, McReynolds, there's a Smoltz. Another Don Mattingly. I think that makes four Mattingly so far. Barry Larkin, there's a nice Barry Larkin there. Glenn Davis, Brett Butler, Goose Gossage, Willie Randolph, Roger Clemens, Andy Bennis looking super serial there, like he wants to kill someone. Of course, these packs are just gonna keep being a pain. Vince Coleman, Sid Bream, Charlie Huff again, another Ricky Henderson, Ray Langford, and Ken Caminiti. Roger McDowell, hmm. Mark Grace, Bob Welch, Mark Witten, and Harold Reynolds. Tom Browning. Travis Fryman, Joe Carter, Julio Franco, loving his bat. And Jeff Conine. Like I said, these cars definitely different back in the day. Different is how each one of these packs seems to open up, apparently, too. Daryl Strawberry, and Matt Williams, Bill Sampin, Larusa, and a checklist. First time we've seen these cards. Oh, now back into the usual. Frank Viola, Black and Decker, Jack McDowell. Hopefully, seeing that's a small count in this set, I should be able to make a set out of this box, hopefully. We'll see Will Clark, Yvonne Calderon. This is a new pack. Paul Molitor, John Franco, Nick Asaski, Lenny Dykstra, Sean Bosky, Jay Bell, and Browning, so seeing some different cards now. Not necessarily valuable cards, just different. Which, like I said, hopefully I can build a, a set out of this. Not worth much, but still. George Brett, and then we got Dwight Evans, Boggs again, and Gary Gaetti. Appreciate you guys hanging in there again, dealing with my awful pack opening. No two packs are ever opening the same. Marquise Grissom, Bip Roberts, Lance Parrish, Greg Vaughn, Ruben Sierra, Witten again, Steve Sachs, there's a nice Dave Justice, and Mark Mike Fitzgerald. 
the Justice would have been a hot one back then to pull. Definitely all the rage, as they say back then. Him and Frank Thomas coming off the, you know, the 90, especially 90 Leaf. They were some hot cards to pull them in Sosa. Griffey Sr. again, Fielder. We got Brett and Dwight Evans again, Wade Boggs, and Chris Hammond. So I like getting duplicates, but you know, give me duplicates of the good cards too. You know, like the, the Bagwell. Give me another one of those, another Griffey Jr. Dennis Eckersley, Alvin Davis, Brett Butler, Rich Gossage again. But it'll look like I really have to take this picture. Storm Davis. It's probably the easiest pack I've had all night. Wish they all opened like that. Benito Santiago, I think it's the first time seeing that one. Chris Sabo, without the goggles. And what do we got here? Is this a checklist? Oh, the... The first card in the set, I guess. Interesting. Offerman, Kendo, Grace, Howard Johnson, Kevin Mitchell, and Daryl Kyle. Like I said, I like this set, though. Definitely cheap to get, too. I think I picked that up for, I don't know, 15 or 20 bucks on eBay. So, it's a cheap rip, but... Definitely reminds me of my teenage years. Hal Morris, looking a little rough. And Lee Smith. And that's one good thing about the junk wax, you know. It may not be worth much now, but it's cheap to take a trip down memory lane. Fred McGriff, Hal Morris again, Morandini, Turner Ward, Milt Thompson. And Frank Viola. All right, we're getting down there towards the bottom. Let's get some more Bagwells and Griffey Juniors. Oh, we got plenty of Lee Smith too. Another studio card. The Kendo Black and Decker. Devon White, McReynolds, and John Smoltz. Figures now, some of these will start opening easier. Lou Whitaker, the Ruben Sierra, Saber Hagen, another nice Ripken. Another Ryan Sandberg, Phil Plantier, hot rookie back then. And Kent Herbeck. I think it's the first time seeing Herbeck and Plantier tonight. Which is good, like I said, because, you know, well, they're not worth anything. It'd be nice to be able to complete the set out of one box. Dunstan, Drabeck, Mariano Duncan, another Brett, another Boggs. Definitely getting some, some repeats now. Another easy pack. I'll take it. Oh, Leo Gomez. Candy Maldonado, Ellis Burks, Aguilera, Jimmy Reese. It's definitely a new pack here. Haven't seen any of these yet. Tony Fernandez. All right. We got Pete Harnish, Lloyd Mosby, McGuire again. Langston, Franklin Stubbs, Paul Merrow in his hair helmet. Mullins, another John Smoltz, and Shane Mack. Hopefully we have the trend of easy opening packs continue. Tim Rock Reigns, stupid nickname, but hey. Greg Olson, trying to look all hard. Eric Show, Gary Scott. McReynolds, Matt Williams, Mike Scott, hmm. Andy Van Slyke. First time seeing some of those guys tonight. Good sign. Like I said, just trying to 
complete a set then. You got Langston again, Kevin Moss. What's this upside down stuff now? Milligan, Frank Tanana, Dave Stewart. Look at Sinister. Lee Smith, Swindell, and Scott Sanderson. If you're still with me, I appreciate it. Like I said, a lot of people only watch videos looking for the, the hits, the big pulls. It's nice Nolan Ryan again. Get him back here on the stand. Greg Olson again. I think I'm like a serial killer. Tony Pena, senior portrait. Brian Harper. Probably the only time he ever wears the gear. Wally Joyner and a Todd Zeal. And we got another checklist with Tommy Lasorda. Ron Robinson with his five head. Mike Greenwell, Greg Gagne, Chuck Finley, Mike Benjamin. Oil Can Boy, that's definitely Roberto Alomar. Okay, first time seeing these, Daryl Boston and Steve Avery. Looks like we're down to our last two packs. Of course, oh, got it. Almost there, almost there, guys and gals. Ben McDonald, Atlee Hemmaker, Larkin, Roger McDowell. Juan Samuel, Ozzy Smith, Saberhagen, and Harold Reynolds. All right. Last pack. Let's see what we got here. Other than me struggling over a pack again. Of course, the last one is going to be the hardest one. Are you kidding me? All right. There's got to be something good in here now. This is sad. All right, we got Gaetti, Roberto Kelly, Hibbard, Paul Ferry, Senior Portrait, Oral Hershiser, Benjamin again, another Oil Cam Boyd, Roberto Alomar, Daryl Boston, and Steve Avery. All right. Well, that was it for that box. Like I said, I, I like that set. You know, it may not be a whole lot of high dollar cards, but it's still a fun rip. A lot of cool cards in there. Like I said, it takes me back to being a teenager and you know, ripping these at a local card store. Definitely fun times. I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me, and I will see you in the next video.